Hello, welcome to Wednesday Worship on Partakers with me, Dean Roberts, guest presenter and blogger at deanroberts.net. We start Wednesday Worship with a song of praise from Resound Worship, the recent winner of the People's Choice Award at the 2011 Christian New Media Awards. The song is entitled Father God We Come and is written by Andy Irons. I'd like to talk to you uh, about today is from Hebrews 4 verse 14. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has ascended into heaven, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. I'm currently recording this podcast, this Wednesday worship, from St. Paul's Church. St. Paul's Church is a city centre church in Newport, South Wales. And in the church, we have a beautiful stained glass window of Jesus the Good Shepherd. Either side of the stained glass window are the Ten Commandments. In many Anglican churches, this is quite normal, but it's got me thinking uh, over the last few days and weeks and months. Because, as you might know, in the Anglican church, it's the altar that is the central thing, the central focal point of the church. And God's been speaking to me a lot lately about the Ten Commandments and the altar, the place where we come to celebrate Jesus' conquering death and his rising in glory that the law has been fulfilled in him, that there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. 
And I've just been thinking about this picture of the Ten Commandments in the altar. What does that mean for us today? Well, as we've just read in Hebrews chapter 4, there's no condemnation in Jesus because he is the perfect lamb, the great high priest. And because of that, we can approach the throne of grace with confidence, knowing that God loves us, that Jesus gave himself for us, that he died for us. And because of that, we're in right relationship with God. That's an amazing thing, an amazing truth that we can all share together as Christians. Many people today aren't sure about faith. Many people have doubts. Life gets in the way. Things become tough. The second reading that I want to briefly share with you is from Hebrews chapter 6, verse 19. The second reading that I want to briefly share with you is from Hebrews chapter 6, verse 19. We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. It enters the inner sanctuary behind the curtain where our forerunner, Jesus, has entered on our behalf. He has become a high priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. This is an amazing truth that Jesus being our high priest, it's firm, it's secure, it's an eternal truth. The forerunner Jesus has entered on our behalf. That place where we as sinners were unable to tread has been broken. That barrier has come down because of Jesus. He has entered on our behalf and we can approach the throne of grace with confidence. He has become our high priest forever. What an amazing truth. My challenge as you go through the rest of the week is this. Are you relying on Jesus the high priest in your salvation? Are you trusting in his once and for all sacrifice for sin? Can you approach the throne of grace because of his great love and his mercy shown for us on the cross? I would suggest the answer is yes if you're a Christian. You can approach the throne of grace with confidence. Jesus has you. He loves you. He gave himself for you. And that is an eternal promise, something that will never be spoiled and all fade away. And so we pray the Anglican Collect for last Sunday. Blessed Lord, who caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning, help us so to hear them, to read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them that through patience and the comfort of your holy word, we may embrace and forever hold fast the hope of everlasting life, which you have given us in our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I'd like to thank you for listening to Wednesday Worship with me, Dean Roberts, and may the blessing of God Almighty Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen.